All right, what is up, everybody? Welcome into today's edition of In the Game. I am your host, Hustle, and as always, we're going to be diving into the markets. Bitcoin's taking a 7% dip on the weekly. Should you be freaking out? Should you be buying more? I think this is a fantastic opportunity. We always see shakeouts in the midst of a bull run. And by the way, the halving is in two weeks. I think is it a fantastic point in time to be able to DCA your favorite positions. I think I have five main plays for you today, as well as some upcoming plays that I think you should be taking advantage of on this dip. So without further ado, let's get in the game. Always, guys, drop down, hit that like button, and subscribe. We just passed 95k subs. Let's hit 100k here ASAP. Help us out down below if you're getting value from the channel. Tell a friend where you're getting all that crypto gaming alpha as well. As shout out to our sponsors here on In the Game: Vulcan Forged, Ultra, Dreams Quest, Game Starter, NordVPN, Funtico. We have Moon Tropica, Reality Metaverse, and Xverse. So links down below to all of our sponsors here on In the Game. Now let's you know jump into the market here. As mentioned, uh, Bitcoin we all know is taking a little bit of a dip this week. Uh, if we just kind of pull up this chart here, not the best week for price action. I mean, we got back up here to seventy one, and then we just saw this big sharp decline. But personally, I I'm not too worried about this market at the moment. We do have the having here in a couple of weeks. And these institutions, they want the money inflows to keep coming into Bitcoin. So I don't think we're going to see these crazy volatile, we're going to see 40K in the short term type of dips anytime in the near future. And with the having around the corner, obviously the biggest historical catalyst in crypto in, in its history. Um, I, here's my thoughts on the market currently. So uh, Luke Belmar mentions uh, if you take this bull run seriously, you can literally change your life. Focus and don't F this up. But it's true. You like This is the time to be doubling and tripling down into the market and not the time, yeah, this is, the, this is it. I'm going to sell everything that I have. And I always preach here on the show to take profits. I think that that is a smart strategy to just simply make sure that when your positions pump in general – Always scale out. Always take some profits. Do not be left holding the bag at the end of the cycle. But if you take profits adequately, you don't have to time the top as you know, particularly as you would if you're just holding all of your bags. That's the people that whenever we have a dip, they're kind of freaking out. So, you know, when you see positions, one point playable games, ten x, that was a good one. Take a little bit off the table. You have stable coins to play with. Echelon Prime has almost 10x since our position entry. You could take a little bit off of that bag. You have stables for re-entries. It's the people that are overexposed in the market that are feeling a little bit uh, with their pants down at the moment, wondering, uh, was that the top? You know, And if 70K is the top, I would be very shocked, to be completely honest with you. And I know a lot of people out there are freaking out, too, about the gaming narrative. And look, AI is hot. Real world assets are hot, and I get that. But what you will find the most success in is niching down in a couple areas. We've had some good AI wins over the bear market here. You know, we got into Ocean at the bottom. We we caught uh, Balance AI. We caught Render at very low prices. Right. We've had our AI wins here on the show, but always stay focused. That narrative will shift back around to gaming. AI is just that new flashy type of narrative that people really want to get exposure to because it's new and it's in the news and, and there's multiple businesses out there trying to build and integrate with AI. Open AI is just so massive. But I think that the gaming narrative will have its day and days in the sun. We saw gaming surge when Mavia hit the market with a game plus token. All it takes is a quality catalyst to set a fire in the market once more. Patience is all it's going to take here. So that's my take on the gaming space currently. And, and look, like there's been some nice wins this week. As we see here, uh, Honeyland's up 23% on the 24 hours and the seven day is up 16%. Well, why is that? Honeyland and about from now, actually, in, a, in just a matter of, you know, I would say like 10 hours, it will be live here on six different exchanges. So Honeyland is going on a big sprint here to become a little bit more, I would say, accessible to the people across these different exchanges. So that's definitely a very bullish catalyst for the Honeyland token. Uh, we have GPU. Like these AI tokens just don't dip. It's crazy. 
Node AI here uh, is up 13% and 72% on the weekly. So performing very, very strong. But when you look at the rest of the market, like the market is just taking a tumble because of Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the lead indicator of this market. So let's take a look here across the space uh, at really what's getting beat up. And, and then what is the couple of positions that I think you should be scooping up that have been showing strength in the market recently? I mean, based is back under 30 cents. I think that's a really good position to get into. Senate is getting back to that 10 cent level almost. Uh, another very good accumulation. And look, I will, uh, I'll go ahead and pivot over to the first one that I think you should definitely be DCAing. And that is the Citus token. Um, we've been super bullish on Citus and Senate over the course of this market. And look, People are a little upset that Senate isn't performing like Citus, but it will catch up. There will be catalysts for Senate. I've talked to the team directly, and they will give that utility back to Senate, just like they gave the utility to Citus with the Citus pad. But as you see here, they recently burned 1.3 billion Citus from circulation. I mean, this is a massive, I mean, this is multiple, multiple millions of dollars of Citus burned. They burned 5% of the total supply. And then when you look at this on the weekly, it's it's crushing it, right? When we look at the all chart because of dilution over time and where it launched, like this thing might have a long way to go. And look, do I think this is going to get back to all time highs? That's really hard to judge. But personally speaking, this is one of the strongest performers in the gaming sector, no matter the climate and no matter to the narrative. So I think Citus and Senate are both fantastic positions to be in at this moment in time. As well, I, I think that if you've been missing out on the Wilder World pump, this is a great time to take a look. I believe, let's go find Wild here on the charts. I believe this one now is back under a dollar. 95 cents. So look, we gave you this one at 30 cents last summer. So anyone who's in those positions, I think it's a great time. Just sit in your bag, let this thing mature. But if you missed this, I think at this market cap level, I think that Wilder World is a pretty good position. As you see here, their Zero app, which is like their social application is looking absolutely fantastic. And then look, more than just an open world game, more than just a racing game, this thing is going to be an FPS as well. So that's pretty sweet. We know this team, as far as graphics goes, is, is next level. And, and Superverse literally comments here, unreal graphics. So this is one I definitely think is worth an accumulation. You could span this across gaming, metaverse. They're working with NVIDIA. So it kind of has some integration in like the GPU and AI side, for example. So I do think that Wilder World is a fantastic accumulation at this point in time. Another one that I think you should definitely be DCAing around these levels, let's find it here on the scroll bar, is going to be Altura. So Altura got up to 10 cents and now it's back to six cents. We're talking about a 40% retrace here on a $40 million market cap token. Right now, their marketplace solution is free for developers. And as you see here, instead of having to do the hassle of building out your own in-house marketplace for your game assets, you can jump in here, utilize Altura's white label marketplace solution, and be able to plug and play right into the system. So Altura is working with Superverse. They have some big partnerships as well in the making. Their inter-creator program, I think they're about to have much more sentiment across the social media space. So I think that right now Altura is another one that I think you can't ignore as far as DCAs go. And, you know, I talked about Honeyland, but look, it's only up 20% on the weekly, right? Or, you know, it, it's really not that crazy of a pump this week for Honeyland yet. I think once we get on exchanges here, once they announce the upcoming things that they have in the pipeline, I think the the conviction that we've had in Honeyland over this time period is really going to come to the surface. And I think you guys who have been sitting in your positions or topping up your positions as it's been dipping from recent all-time highs are really going to make out like a bandit here with the Honeyland token. But another Solana token that I think right now is a fantastic time to be DCAing, and that is Crown. Let's find Crown here on the list. And look, this is a narrative trade in its fullest. You have gaming, you have Gamblefy, and you have Solana, okay? So there's three huge catalysts right there. And when we look at this chart, um, yeah, 
when we look at this chart, this thing got up to a dollar sixty-seven just recently. Now you're at this dip. I mean, we we've called to buy it here. We called to buy it here. I think that this is one of the last opportunities to get in before the Kentucky Derby. Photo Finish Live is the official game, the official partner of the Kentucky Derby. They're number one running the virtual Kentucky Derby this week, but number two. They are going to be showcased on the broadcast. I don't watch horse racing, but I know for a fact this is the biggest horse race in the world. It's going to have the most eyes on it, and the simulated race is going to be using Photo Finish Live. So I think if you want a narrative trade in its fullest, I would not be surprised to see Photo Finish potentially pushing a, a $2 price leading up over the next month. I, I really do. I think that with the Kentucky Derby, with Solana's next leg up, as well as other Solana gaming tokens like Honeyland taking a great, you know, jump into the market recently. Uh, I, I think that Photo Finish is a fantastic position to be in at this point in time. Another individual game I'm looking to DCA at this point is Domi. So Domi had delayed their beta launch as far as the game. And I, I think it's for decent reasons. They want to make sure that the people who jump in and get a first impression of this product are really going to be impressed. But it has caused a 25% dip over the week. Look, I understand uh, it's a low market cap token, but that's a little much for me. I genuinely think that if you DCA Domi, this is going to be one of the biggest winners from an X perspective out of the Avalanche ecosystem. On my individual game list, on the tier list of potential X's from here. This was near the top of the list. I do think that Domi Online, built by X RuneScape devs, and they're not just saying that on their pitch deck, for example. I really think that this is going to be a huge winner. And then across the board, if I'm looking at some other DCAs, I think Wag Me Games has a lot in store. We've been in this one for quite a while. Our initial we're, we're still at about a 3x from our initial position here, but still, I do think that's a great DCA if you haven't gotten an entry. Naka under $2, pretty good value in my opinion. I think Creo now, I mean, at, at 12 and a half cents, this thing was 15 cents and I still was thinking, you know, this was a great DCA. So I think Creo Engine, fantastic DCA at this point in time. I think Mavia is going to springboard here whenever their economy goes live, for example. And then just looking across the board, there's never a bad time during red days to DCA stuff like Superverse like Beam. So I think there's a lot of good positions to be had across this market. And look, there's no reason to be fearful. I could go across the board and probably talk about, you know, how many, I have 95 coins on this watch list. Look how many are in the red. And especially on the weekly, let's look at this weekly. We have coins down 60, 30, 20, 25% on the weekly. And this list goes on and on and on as far as the weekly red. There's only, you know, 10 tokens or so here in the green for the week. So personally speaking, I could go on for days about what you should be buying, but we go over enough tokens here. You should have been building your watch list during these time periods. And look, I, I genuinely think that this market is nowhere near the top, nowhere near oversaturated, nowhere near, you know, we're, we're at a tipping point where you should be selling all your bags. I genuinely think today is a great DCA level to be able to enter some of your highest conviction bags. And then a couple updates. We have the versus X token. We have been looking forward to this. This is now trading on Mexi and Gate IO. Um, so shout out to this team for getting that token launch out there. We have block games, which SocialFi is heading into its final stages. So from this week, you can earn points. Uh, by only interacting with the Get Block Games tweets. So if you want to ra uh, rack up those points on the social app, you can check track your progress right on your phones. You can just qualify for this airdrop. People made out like bandits on stuff like Portal and Gaiman's airdrops. I think that Block is one you should 100% be farming. Another airdrop opportunity is Easy. Easy is a gamified marketplace. I've been talking with the founders and the team over here for quite a while. You can jump into the app here actually and refer friends, earn points. They earn 300 points. You earn 300 points. And on top of that, it is just uh, it's a crowdsourced, you know, gamified marketplace. I think it's very needed in the space. I think this one's going to do really well. Their TGE here is on April 11th. And if you want 
300 free points, you can head over to my link here on my Twitter, Zero X Hustlepedia, and you can actually get involved directly from my page. And then a quick shout out to our sponsors here on the show. We have Vulcan Forge, which, you know, look, uh, I, I know Jamie well, and Jamie never gets this over the top about certain projects. And Rebel Cars, he says, has the potential to be one of the biggest Game 5 plays of the cycle, if not ever. And I mean, look at some of these graphics. These are direct from the game. It's a CGI-driven game. So these cars, these different builds, they look awesome. And, and, and on tomorrow's show, I will show you guys the crypto banter in the game car, which looks absolutely slick. I can't wait to get that thing on the track. Maybe we get a group race here for the community and we see who can really uh, burn some rubber and come out on top in the Rebel Cars ecosystem. So super stoked about this. It's going to be the first launch pad project on Vulcan Forged. And that's another one. I think Vulcan right now is very, very cheap as far as valuations go. And one thing you should definitely be taking a look at DCA. We have Reality Metaverse who, you know, they have their pre-mint for their upcoming free mint coming um, at this point in time. They have a lot of different players, a lot of different games in this ecosystem. What I like the most is it's real world, like different geolocations. You're able to qualify for different things. If you own certain NFTs, you can earn royalties. But it's like, it's like Pokemon Go of the world, but it's more of a, it's like a metaverse it, it's a very interesting project. I think it's very much worth staking out, uh, checking out. And ap I said staking out because their staking is live and the APR is 30%. So definitely an interesting one to check out. Shout out to Reality Metaverse. We have Game Starter, who just did their incubation for one of my favorite upcoming projects, Arcade to Earn. Their VIP round sold out in one minute. One minute. That's absolutely insane. They say that's a new record. So this is def this is. One of the hottest launches of this month. It's coming to Chain GPT Pad as well as Cedify. So definitely be on the lookout for the Arcade to Earn launch. And shout out to Game Starter pushing quality launches, pushing quality products in their ecosystem. Very happy to be partnered up with them for the long term. And then last but not least, NordVPN. Look, I've been seeing more and more compromises, more data leaks, more scams. The least you can do is protect your IP address and stay anonymous when navigating Web3. Shout out to NordVPN. They're giving you four months extra as well as a 30-day money-back guarantee. Sign up down below for NordVPN and check out all of our sponsors in the links down below. So like I said, I could go on and on as far as things to DCA today, but, you know, We've covered quite a bit on this show. I've given you some of my top buys that if you have not been accumulating, this is the chance before these next leg up. And there are so many cheap projects out in the market today. I will let you do those, you know, do your own research, figure out from the shows here which ones you really want to stack up. But we, like I said, the, the, the list of red here is just on and on. So I think you can't really go wrong right now. Just high conviction projects. And look, if you have small bags of stuff that you're you're really just like looking for moon bags of, consolidate it into the strength, let those appreciate, and then take profits and put those back into speculative plays. Now is the time to consolidate weak positions into strong positions and be able to ride those up. So guys, like the video, subscribe. I'll be back tomorrow as always with all the alpha and the updates across the market. And I will see you guys then as always. Play well, my friends.